I have a meeting and a conference call at two o'clock. Not exactly sure how that's gonna work just yet, but we've got that and then a 3.30 meeting to talk about some camera systems. <sighs> I'm gonna figure this thing out. Plus, got a new camera, so this is gonna be fun. So I got a new camera. I got a new camera. And I'm pretty excited because this is my old camera. This is a Nikon D7000. Um, it's done an amazing job and it's not going anywhere. I just am going to switch over to this D5600 for my regular daily shooting. Some of the huge benefits that I'm gonna gain is one, it has this really neat uh, front facing display so that I can see what I'm shooting. It also has touch screen so that it is, it's touch to focus so that I can make sure things are in focus uh, when I'm recording them because that's one of the big problems that I continually have was I'm recording a lot of things and it's way out of focus. So that's a really neat feature. But the really neat thing is this, this big camera here can stay on a tripod and I can utilize it to do two camera shooting. Um, one of the things that I do a lot of on um, on the videos that I post on YouTube, some security camera footage from around our office. So it, it kind of helps me to, so I wanted to kind of show you how I do that, what that looks like, maybe it's of interest to you, so. So this is um, uh, our camera system here. So I'm just gonna log in. I have my password saved. I'm just using um, Safari here on my Mac. And it, when I when I go into this, it's gonna give me a listing of all the cameras and then it's gonna show me um, kind of a view of what those cameras look like. I've got kind of a snapshot here of all the cameras and they should all be kind of a live stream as to what's happening. So I can see exactly what's going on. So one of the probably most common shots that I do is I'll take some time lapse or some snapshots of this front parking lot camera. So I'll zoom out and see kind of a frame of uh, each uh, segment. So this is showing every five minutes. Show me one snapshot for every, uh, at every hour. So I can see here, 5, 12, 6, 12. So I just saw in here, um, that there were some guys walking down. Um, so there's Chris coming in. Uh, so let me break that in a little tighter on a 10 minute segment. So this is Chris walking in, walking by and Chris walking in. So let's see, this will be a good frame for us. So this is starting at 11.04 a.m. And so from that, all I have to do is click the button down here called download, a, uh, a dialog box here to kind of say, this is the segment that I want. At 11.04 uh, a.m. Uh, I can grab that until I want to say, I'm just going to get a, um, I'm going to have one minute of video. I can select that on here and I can put if I want a timestamp or not. And I want to hit download to my main tab. And there's a notifications bar on the left hand side. The notification is going to say, are, these are all the video clips that you've requested. So here's the latest one that I have processing it right now. So it's actually uh, going and querying the server, getting the high quality full resolution video, and then it's going to prompt me when it's ready. This takes just a, a minute or two to process that information, and then it will download the video clip into my video editing software, which I use Final Cut Pro X um, to edit the video. Uh, one of the things that I have learned with this is that Final Cut Pro X does not like MP4 format, um, or at least the version that um, I'm downloading for my security footage. So I have a small converter that I use and process and throw it into an MOV file, and then I can drop it right into Final Cut Pro. I'll pull it right off of uh, our cloud video system. Uh, pretty useful in that sense for video editing, but uh, obviously it's, it's useful to download any clips of anything that happens around the office. 